We are digging deeper into how the heart of Buffalo's medical campus plans to serve health care needs in the future. Well, the Jacobs Institute, a medical innovation hub, is releasing a book tomorrow which aims to predict how technology will help patients over the next 25 years. Channel 2's Erica Brecker got a look inside the facility and talked with the innovators who make these predictions a reality. There are some bold predictions in this book, like the one that says self-driving ambulances and drones will start trauma treatment up to a half hour before a victim in today's world might arrive at the hospital. But the folks behind this book and their team of engineers believe strongly in the capable minds of researchers and doctors that would help make these theories a reality. It's a process of both looking at what's happening now and then following the trajectories of, of interesting technologies and then being able to plot those out into the future. Chris Coward, executive editor of the book, said that trajectory also means dreaming up sci-fi technology, but then realistically determining the milestones that would have to be reached first to to get there. He and colleague Bill Maggio believe some of those milestones will be worked on and reached here at the Jacobs Institute, which commissioned the future of medicine and where engineers are already practicing treatment on 3D printed organs. Everything we do is targeted towards you know, making significant advancements in how we treat neurovascular and cardiovascular disease. The nonprofit is in the heart of the medical campus. It's surrounded by hospitals, the Gates Vascular Institute, and UB's med school. And there's a lot to be said about the way that the campus is being built and constructed. It almost forces people to collaborate. Combined, they're working on the future. A future where, according to the Jacobs Institute's prediction, immunotherapy will replace chemotherapy as the primary treatment for half of cancers. Virtual reality headsets will be used on Alzheimer's patients to slow down its degenerative effects. An augmented reality may help mitigate the doctor crisis. A doctor suicide rate is actually alarmingly high, and that, that is one of those things that uh, the last time I went into to my doctor, she, she was wearing Google Glass and was able to use that as a way to actually talk to me and have a real conversation, and all of the scribing was happening in the background. If these predictions are right, you can expect artificial intelligence, 3D imaging, and 3D printing to be more prevalent in your health care. And one day, doctors might be able to edit future disease out of your DNA. All of this and more will be discussed right here in Buffalo when the future of medicine is officially introduced to the public tomorrow at the Jacobs Institute. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.